Oh, we're getting outside now. This one says, Welcome Ho. Oh, wow, they made a huge, like, city and stuff out here, and siblings oh. and all. This is it. This is where the Strays built their village. And what a beautiful place they chose. Just look at the sky. It is so big. So remember Maddie, who's on our back, she's never been outside the cave before. This is the first time she's seeing any kind of light and and uh, and skies and stuff like that. And it's really, like this game is just so beautiful. I'm just looking around. I don't really know yet where we're supposed to go, so I'm just checking. Okay, yeah, it wants us to follow this path. I, but I can hear. I think it was up here. Yeah. And now I think we can then. Yeah. It wouldn't take us. We wouldn't get that far. No, no, no! <laughs> Way too much speed. Okay, I guess we want to go here to where there's like another cave entrance. Oh, sh oh that was so close. This is gonna be a long jump. So get some speed, charges up and go. I wonder where all these things are coming from. I mean it's it's mostly human garbage and trash and stuff. Uh, shut out with the um, garbage disposal thing that we also use to to enter all of this and we messed it up yeah, I need to release I need to release sooner and no I think here yeah Sometimes it feels a bit weird when you're you're kind of hitting a, an an angle while still having the the grappling connected to something. It will kind of just fling you around. Um, and when 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 you like kind of touch the point where you are you are grappled to, he will then release the grapple. So you can sometimes get uh, flung off the side. Along my journey, I had seen many pieces of floating rock, but here they were much bigger. Oh, you don't say. Fit whole villages. <laughs> this is not connected to anything. Maybe it had to do with the crystals that seem to be everywhere. Yeah, I mean the crystals are kind of, or not kind of, they are powering our grappling hook. So I guess they hold some kind of weird magical power. Please, oh. This might be an issue. No, we got it. Yeah. So, here we want to... We 
use this uh, propeller kind of thing. A windmill. If just the made were true, the stray civilization was younger than the village. Yet they were making great progress. They invented crystal I think we want to skip this one so we we save a gravel and not use it on in here out of bricks and stone. So we'll I do believe civilization was when the next one is coming. No. No, okay, we actually couldn't do that. It wasn't uh, long enough. Okay, going back. So we have to use this rock first. Just waiting for the next rotation then. And let's go. Okay, still won't... There we go. Oh, and we actually have to grab another rock here before we can land. We only have one grab left. So this has to be perfect. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, we got it. Oh, we, we I think we skipped a lot of the hidden uh, history pieces because now it's reading number seven and we only got, <laughs> got two. But we might not have skipped. It might have just come naturally. Whoa! How come they didn't use crystals in the village like that? Didn't they have any? They did have a few, but never used them. The villagers thought the crystals were sacred, that they were the source of life and shouldn't be fiddled with. Wait, didn't Fred use them? For his power cores, yes. I guess he was an exception. The strays, on the other hand, they mined crystals and used them for all sorts of machinery and decorations. They praised oh, them too. I actually don't know where we're supposed to go day. right now. Okay, going back to here and... Maybe this was just a, an off, yeah. Yeah, we needed to go up here. So that was actually another hidden, but those are just history pieces, but I really like it. There's also, for example, when playing Talos, I've spent so many hours just finding all the the, the hidden um, voice capsules and stuff like that. And we're going to swing from this one. Oh, I knew it. I knew I was going to hit the ceiling. And here we gotta use a long jump. Hey, let's play a game. I bet that you can't get through this part without using the grapple device. I did. Uh, I remember back when I played this like a year ago or something. I I actually did complete this challenge to get the achievement. So let's try and do it. Like she wants us to not use gravel at all, and <clears throat> there is a path you then can take. But it is gonna be a bit hard. But it is possible. Oh, okay, we already we all made it messed it up. <laughs> Told you you couldn't do it. We tried though. But I overshot it completely. Okay, I guess it wants us to use the um, the windmill things here again. Oh, it's not yet. Okay, where do I need to go after that? Okay, all the way to this. Oh, no. Okay, so there I just wasted one grapple. Hopefully we can still make it over there. Oh, no, he landed. That's pretty good. Because now... Please say I can reach. Please say I can reach. I cannot. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
But I'm actually not really sure what it wants me to do here at all, so... Now I'm not gonna waste that one gravel like before. Oh, but he's landing on it. That feels so odd. Yeah, I messed it up again. I actually... I have no idea. I mean, we need to get over there, but... Guess we just gotta keep trying. And now don't land on it please and, and stop the motion because that's messing it all up. I just, how am I supposed to get on to the next one? I like, I have no momentum here. I'm gonna go to the upwards motion, please. Yeah, okay, I got it. And we over. Oh, nice. What's that? The boots. Look, couldn't you wear those? Where are the boots? Upgrade your suit. Where are the boots? They look pretty oh, powerful, here. right? Oh, I got the rocket boots. Right, I forgot about all about those. With this addition, the suit felt at least 20% cooler. <laughs> Again, checking for the collectibles. <laughs> That's the rocket. This is awesome! Oh my god. That took me <laughs> so high. It was awesome. I don't know how to describe the feeling of bursting through the air like a bullet so fast that my eyes watered. And my belly was full of butterflies. Okay, I guess it wants us to go but still feeling like all the way over the here. <laughs> I guess I just described it, didn't I? Yeah. Boom. Perfect. Oh, just a second. Let's see what order. Well. I'll just do this anyway, since I just had a natural break and had a sip of water. I will just go ahead and drop this in in the, in the chat and shortly explain what it's all about. In March, I will be climbing, and I'm so excited about this, but I will actually be climbing Kilimanjaro having <laughs> no experience whatsoever in this. I just got the offer to be part of, of this, um, this group led by a Danish uh, marine um for this foundation called the uh, kids aid and and the reason why it's in uh, in africa and kilimanjaro is to raise awareness to stop um, animal poaching in africa um, but the main charity is for for this kids aid which is danish foundation um helping kids in hospitals uh, giving them you know, toys, making sure that their bed sheets are not just a regular white, boring kind of stuff, that they actually got some, you know, some kid stuff, that it, so they actually feel like uh, children and not just some, some sick individual. Um, so immediately hearing about that, I just um, jumped right on it. So now my task is I need to raise equivalent to 10,000 Danish and that's like 1400 uh, US dollars. I need to raise that. That's like the criteria for me to to go uh, on the trip. So obviously I won't ever reach that, but anything anything I can get, I will uh, I will take and put straight into that donation and obviously I will pay pay the rest of it for uh, with my own money. So all donations that I might possibly get in these 60 days are going straight to uh, to that foundation. 
No, no, no. no. We messed it up. We messed it up. So yeah, but I'm very excited about having to climb Kilimanjaro with no experience at all. I'm pretty anxious about it. And I will, from, I just, I agreed to it today. So from tomorrow, I will uh, start uh, hitting the gym and uh, preparing. And rocket, go. Oh, we just made it. We just made it. Oh, okay, that gave me so much speed. Please let me reach, yes. I'd love to do stuff like this with crystals. Just think of the possibilities. Whole machines are powered by them. I almost can't believe it. Okay, there's nothing up. No hidden. I think we've skipped a lot of them, but... Oh, this is a difficult jump. Yeah, now I have to use the rocket to get up here, I guess, and then reach this one. No! <laughs> it's starting to get difficult. Oh, it was all the way back here. Dang it. Yeah, it's so hard to work out where the momentum is taking me. So everything goes so fast. Okay, so yeah, this was the, um, the tricky one. Yeah, don't hit the rock, please. Yeah, and then up here. And yeah, this was better. Way better. Where's the next, next one? There was no next one. I just had to use rocket, I guess. Anyway, we got it. <laughs> That's the important thing. <laughs> oh, now what? Like where? Where's the next platform? Hmm. I wonder if it wants us to go all the way up here. I guess so. I'll just land here for a second to see. Oh yeah, that was a safe point. A great. Icy mountain loomed before me, and I felt a chill. Yeah, that's. I guess that's where we want to go. That's pretty far away. I'm not sure I can reach this one. Can I? Without rocket? Yeah, I can. I uh, just, just made it. Momentum, please. And now I use the last gravel, so this rocket jump has to be very precise. Oh, come on, come on. <laughs> wow. The leap thing gives me so much power that I'm almost just falling off. We hadn't seen any people around yet, but ahead of us lay what looked like a proper town. Oh, Straight I missed that up. Maddie's stories. I could imagine how she must have longed to meet them all her life. And now, here they were. Oh, I just made it. And now, rocket again. Please be enough. This is not enough. It's not enough. No. I could just see it.
they're gonna be the same. Yeah, it's not enough. Damn it! I'm. I need to to get better momentum from these from rock to rock without accidentally hitting my head um, on them because then I'll lose it all again. I think this uh, this was it. Yeah, we got it. Just got it. Oh, those must be the strays. I want to greet these people myself. Let me off. Jump, jump off, jump off. Why is she not jumping off? Okay, there we go. Hi guys, I'm Maddie from the village, and this is my friend. He's looking for Fred. Amazing! I've never seen anyone from <laughs> the same place before. My name is Arvin. This is Ingo, and that's Tommy. Oh, it's actually a Welcome guy. <laughs> Star Haven, lads. So, what's it like in the village? Village is okay, but not like this place. His eyes. We don't have machines and crystals. We're forbidden from using them. Truly, the crystals are our main source of power. The life in the village must be primitive, or should I say, simple. <laughs> yeah, well, it's not so bad. I've actually That's made not a very nice thing to say. And crystals myself, like this lamp. You made that? Awesome! I couldn't do that even if someone told me how. And with no prior knowledge of how to use them. You are a gifted young lady. Yep, he's I pretty clever. I find many things to talk about. Actually, I don't know if I can stay that long. Me and my friend are looking for Fred. Have you seen him? Sure. The old man passed through here a few days ago. We taught him how to harness crystal energy. He was headed down to the core of the mountains. You'd have to pass through the ice cave to get there, though. So I ain't following. There's a so I think that's the next the part, cave. then. It docks a short distance from here. Just follow the path towards the mountain, and you won't miss it. Yeah, good luck. Thanks. <laughs> Bye, you guys. I like how she just have a very, like, clean and cute voice, and <laughs> they just sound like, I don't even know. Oh. I can hear. See, there's a marking here, and I can hear the... Um, yeah, yeah, Maddie, not now. I can hear something. Hey. <laughs> How old was Maddie when you met her? I don't know, but it felt like she was. She's just so I beautiful. Wish. Did you like her? Yes, she was friendly and funny. No, <laughs> did you like her? Was she cute? Well, she was cute, but. I was too young to think about that. And also, you she's a lizard. Time all by yourselves? No, I. She wasn't <laughs> human. Well, that's exactly. A bit out. I have a friend that says she wants to marry a vampire. Uh, well, that's <coughs> good for her. Let's get back to the story. Okay, so that, I, but I can still hear. Do I say we're getting closer? The thing is, I can't use any, I can't jump or grab or anything. I think I need to go towards Maddie first, and then I can do that. Because I can hear it here. It's saying boop, 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 boop. Right. Just. Sounds like I'm very close, but it's probably up here or down here somewhere. And I can't do that without any um, grappling or, or rocket boots or anything, so... Oh, she's here. Let's talk to her first then. <laughs> uh, hello, you're waving the kind of... Okay, so now she's back on my back. Those people were so nice. They didn't think we were strange at all, though we came all the way from the village. Okay, we're gonna do a small. And they were oh, it's here. By something I had done. <sighs> I wish more people in the village were like that. 
I love this jump. So amazing. Almost, if that tree hasn't been there, I would have just went straight over. Oh, again, very close call. Okay, so where do we exactly need to go here? Let's just see. I mean, we want to go towards the... Like this um, ice cave, but I don't think we have to go all the way by ourselves. There's probably something that can take us there. I think the Zeppelin kind of things, maybe. Okay, right now I'm not really sure where we're... Okay, here. Something to land on. And... I think this way? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whew. Oh, nope. That almost went wrong. I hope we're going the right way and not just in a circle here. But I'm not really <laughs> sure. It's just playing with dolls. Going this way. Maddie was silent for a while. It seemed like she was thinking hard on something. I think this is right. I think this is right. Oh, more of these. I hate these. <laughs> I'm so bad at it. Okay, waiting for this one. Go. Nope. Taking the next one then. But now we already used the rocket, which I think we should have used in between these instead, yeah, definitely. So waiting for the timing here, yeah, okay, we got this one. And now rocket. Please be far enough. No. Whoa. That was again very, very close. Hopefully we can then get over here without any rocket boots now. But I think we should be good, right? Yeah. Quickly, grab a hold of that crate. Where? Okay, okay, okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. Yeah. That's what I thought, we can be taken to the Zeppelin and then uh, going there. And I think, I think this is it. We are going in. Good day. Here's a bow to ice cave. <laughs> Though I'd take the other one if I were you. That one goes back to the outpost. But what we're heading in. Um I um wait a minute. Oh. I was thinking. I I don't know if I should go with you. I mean I want to, but I also want to well stay here. Maybe it's strange, but I just feel like these people liked me and accepted me for who I am. Kind of like you. I want to be with you too, and help you find Fred. I don't know what I want the most. I told Madeline that I would accept whatever choice she made. I just never thought about it until now that maybe... Maybe it wasn't Fred I was looking for when I came with you. Maybe I was just looking for a way out. Somewhere to be free. And I know <coughs> that if anyone can find Fred, it's you. If you meet him, when you meet him, tell him to come see me, okay? I promised. 
Thank you. I'm glad I met you. And it won't be the same without you around. Goodbye, friend. Okay, so I said goodbye to Maddie. That's it. And I had a feeling that this was the last time I'd see her. But even in this sad moment, I was happy for her. She Aww. found a place where she belonged. There was a goodbye, Maddie. in the air that reminded me of the hot summer nights back home. But as the sun was setting, I could feel the chill creeping up on me. And the path we were traveling on seemed to lead us into a second ice age. Winter was coming. <laughs> Winter is coming. So that's another level complete. With no achievement gained because we 